Hey guys, it's Friction here, Tag Tank 1 2, having to call me, I don't really care, and welcome back to World of Tanks Advent Calendar Day 6. Today we have the M6A2E1, also known as the Super M6 or Mutant M6. Um, basically, this is a tank that was the first, I think one of the first tier 8 premium tanks in the game, I think it was actually the first tier A premium tank because you got this when you wanted to participate in the closed beta of World of Tanks. And let me just find the vehicle real fast so we can talk about it a bit more. This vehicle was something that you got when you got into the closed beta of the game, but you did not get it by playing the closed beta or getting invited to it. No, you had to buy it in a bundle. Um, I think it was over $100 back at the time. I did not pick my M6 up when I um, when I started playing World of Tanks because I started in the uh, open beta, so I didn't have I didn't have a credit card back then, so I didn't buy this vehicle. I would have probably done it, but the M6 used to be a really good tank. So let's take a look at um, how much it costs you if you want to pick it up with gold, and then we're gonna talk about the deal. So it costs you seven thousand gold, and that is actually quite that's. I have to be honest, that is, uh, that's quite cheap, because it's a tier 8 heavy tank. Most of the tier 8 heavy tanks usually go for about 10,000, 11,000 gold, but there is a catch to the price. Wargaming know that the M6 um, A2 is no longer really competitive in this game. This vehicle used to have really, really good armor. We can check that out right here in the survivability tab. It had really good armor, 191 millimeters at the front. It still holds up fairly nicely against certain opponents. And the turret was really well armored with 229 millimeters as well. But the things have changed in tier 8. Uh, things have changed quite drastically and this thing gets punished a lot of the times when it has to go up against the modern tier 8 premiums. I'm speaking about the Patriot tanks, I'm speaking about the M54 Renegades, I'm speaking about the T77, the Defenders, the SU-130PMs, the Scorpion G. This tank doesn't really fare a chance against these vehicles because a lot of these tanks do have enough penetration to go right through the, um, the upper plate of the vehicle or the lower plate or the turret. And it makes it a very difficult kind of tank to enjoy if you do not have the right matchmaking. This tank does have preferential matchmaking, which is quite important to note. Um, it has preferential matchmaking, so it does never see tier 10 tanks, if I'm correct. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this tank has preferential matchmaking. Now, obviously, who is this tank for? This tank is for tank collectors, people that always wanted to have this tank. People who already have all the premium vehicles and want to have one of the OGs. Um, yeah, I think most of them will probably pick it up when they see this or already have it in their garage. But other than that, I think the majority of the player base will be better off with getting maybe another American tier 8 premium heavy tank because your money will be better invested. Now the price for 7,000 gold, now I would say that would tempt me if I would have enough gold in my storage and I don't own this tank already, it would tempt me. But if maybe the, the, the T26E5, the Patriot, which you can get for bonds as well, or let's say the Renegade comes out just like two days after for about 8,000 gold or 10, uh, 9,000, I would probably pick the Renegade because that thing is a lot more fun than the M6. Just mobility-wise and firepower-wise, basically all the other vehicles, all the other heavies are superior to this tank. Um, you can see it's fairly slow. It has a lot of armor, yes, but that armor can really quickly be dealt with with all kinds of shells. And that makes this tank a bit of a, um, a, bit of a pill for me, so I'm going to say I would pass it. 7,000 gold is a pretty good price, though. Um, if you're a collector, yeah, you're going to pick it up, definitely. And uh, if you get in a good match in with tier 6 and tier 7 tanks where you're a top, top vehicle, uh, I think you might do very well because that's where the armor does work very good. But once you get into those tier 8 9 matches, uh, you, you're pretty much toast. Because it's an M6 hull that has been reinforced at the front. But this tank was actually built, so, you know, some props to Wargaming to have a, a vehicle that is quite unique uh, in the game. So, yeah. Uh, I see you guys tomorrow.
with the next vehicle.